Hey Virgo, we're here for your monthly tarot love reading for April 2024. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and for any of you dealing with a Virgo romantically. Do keep in mind it's a general reading. It may or may not resonate. You are welcome to take what works and leave the rest. Now, if you would like to get a personal tarot reading from me, I do offer those through Etsy. Now, I don't offer video readings through Etsy, but I do offer written readings. So if you would like to check out what I've got available, if you're interested, the link is just in the description box below this video. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's see what's going on this month for Virgo when it comes to love. Tell me what's coming toward Virgo in love for April. First card out, it's big energy here. We've got the moon. So this is very intriguing here, Virgo. The moon energy tends to indicate something that's hidden. It could be that there's currently something hidden, something you're not seeing. It's coming to light potentially this month. You could be finding out about a secret. You could be finding out about somebody's hidden feelings for you. You could be finding out the truth of a situation that you're involved in romantically. So we're going to need to see where this goes. Tell me more about what is coming toward Virgo this month. What is coming toward Virgo? Next card out, Seven of Cups. Okay. What it looks like to me is that there's a couple things that could be going on. You could be dealing with somebody who's sending you mixed messages, somebody who's being confusing, where you literally are like, I don't know what you feel. I don't know what you want. I don't know what your intentions are between the two of us. And it's leading to a lot of confusion within the connection. I definitely feel like this is frustrating. And it just feels like you're trying to figure out where you stand with somebody and they're maybe not being clear at all about their intentions or what they want. It could also be that like I said, something that's currently hidden from you comes to light and then you feel very confused and you're like, so what do I do with this information? How do I move forward? Let's get one more card about what is coming toward Virgo this month, please. And then, oh, the high priestess, that's a nice card, you guys. Okay. So like I said, I see this month you're dealing with some sort of confusing situation with you and whoever you're involved with romantically. I feel like the high priestess is saying you've really got to trust your intuition here, okay? There's something hidden with that moon. There's something not quite right. I think your gut is picking up on this, Virgo, and I think you know that there's something going on. And so maybe this month you're asking questions. You're trying to get to the bottom of it. You're trying to figure out what the situation is. And I feel like you're being encouraged to trust your intuition with whatever it is that you're going through. Do you feel like you're getting the full truth? Do you feel like your person's being honest? Like, what does your intuition tell you about this situation? I think that's going to help guide you as you make a decision about how to ultimately move forward in this case, okay? So this is very intriguing. For the rest of the rating, we're going to look more at your person and we're going to look more at you, Virgo. So let's look at their general energy. Let's look at what they're feeling and what actions they're taking. I'm going to look at the same thing for you. And then we will look at the potential outcome here near the end of the reading. So let's find out a little more about what's going on for your person. Tell me about Virgo's person, please. The lovers. It's interesting because they obviously have feelings for you. But the lovers card also indicates some sort of choice or decision that needs to be made. So your person could have feelings for you, but they also could feel torn because they feel they need to make a choice about something here. Okay, tell me more about Virgo's person this month, the King of Wands. They do feel passionately for you. This is interesting. I mean, the lovers and the King of Wands are really nice energy, but it contrasts with the confusing energy that we saw in your overall energy for this month. Okay, so they're attracted to you. They feel a magnetic pull toward you. What else? five of swords, but there's some sort of issue here. Okay. There's some sort of negativity. There's something toxic. I feel like they could be getting some pressure from friends or family about their relationship with you, Virgo. Like the five of swords to me can feel like other people interfering in our relationship and causing drama and causing negativity. And I almost wonder if what's happening here is that you and this person, you love each other obviously with the lovers and you are connected with that king of wands but i almost feel like uh, it's kind of specific you guys but maybe somebody is trying to talk your person out of this relationship with you like they could be going to your person and being like i just don't know if you and virgo are the right fit i don't know if there's good long-term potential here like there's some sort of challenging energy <clears throat> where 
I feel like other people could be giving your person their opinion on your relationship and what it's doing is planting seeds of doubt, okay? So your person may have been feeling really good about how things were progressing between the two of you and then someone came to them and, and was like, I don't know, do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's gonna work? Don't you think this is an issue? And now they're feeling confused and they might not be talking to you about all of this, right? You might not know that they're having these doubts and they're trying to figure it out, but as they're doing that, you're picking up on the fact that there's something weird. And I think the fact is that they're trying to figure out how to reconcile their feelings for you and also people who might be introducing doubt into the relationship, okay? So what are they feeling? What is this person feeling? Let's see. The unknown. They don't know. They're confused. Wow. Okay. Um, I think they're letting these external influences get into their head. And this is my opinion. This is not a tarot thing. The next thing I'm going to say, this is just my opinion. It's like, you know, when you're in a relationship, you have to be mindful of how other people are influencing the relationship because if you don't have good boundaries around your relationship, other people can come in and question it and it can kind of mess with your head. Now, I'm not saying people are trying to purposely mess with your relationship, just to be clear, Virgo. I feel a lot of the times people feel like they're being well-intentioned when maybe it's not helpful. So somebody here might feel like they're raising some valid concerns and now your person is like letting it get into their head and they're like, I don't know how I feel now. I don't know how to deal with this situation, right? What else are they feeling? What else are they feeling? The judgment, okay? I'm gonna say they're feeling judged. That's how I interpret this judgment card within the context of this reading. They feel like other people are judging their decisions that this person is making about you and the relationship. Other people are putting pressure on. Other people are putting judgment on the situation. Tell me more, please. And the Ten of Cups. But they're conflicted. Because here's the thing. I actually feel like this person really loves you, Virgo. And I don't think there were any issues until other people maybe started meddling and introducing doubt into the relationship. And this is tough because I do feel like your person is potentially letting some of this external influence seep in and lead them to question the connection. But then they're so confused because they're like, but I was feeling really good about my relationship with Virgo. I was feeling like we were on track to build a life together. And now they're all confused because of all these different opinions that people are giving them about the connection. It's tough. What actions are they taking? Okay, interesting. Uh, we're gonna see what comes next. So this card indicates change or transition. Something is ending and transforming here, okay? Let's see, let's see. Tell me more about what actions they're taking. Four of Cups. Oh, it's gonna be tough, you guys. Let's get one more, let's get one more. The Emperor. It is possible that this person lets other people influence them and it might lead them to disconnecting or pulling back from the connection with you. It's possible. Like if this person lets other people get in their head, they might end up making the decision to kind of pull back here from the connection between the two of you. I do see that possibility. Um, I kind of feel like this energy could go one of two ways. It's either they're letting other people interfere and it's causing them to pull back from you. Or the other way that I can interpret this is that they start to realize that other people are negatively impacting the connection between the two of you and they pull back from those people and they start to stand up for your relationship and say, look, enough is enough. I don't wanna hear your opinion. I just wanna focus on the love that I have with Virgo. So it's gonna go one of two ways. It's like, if they let other people influence them and get in their head, you might feel them really pulling back. But if they realize that this is a negative experience, they might actually be pulling back from those people and becoming a little bit more protective of your connection. I, I could see it going either way here, okay? So let's look at you, Virgo. Let's see what's going on for you, please. The Nine of Wands, yeah. You're feeling very tested by this, obviously. This is a tough situation because as far as you're concerned, the two of you were just in love having a great life together. And now all of a sudden there's confusion, there's uncertainty. You're picking up on the fact that something doesn't feel quite right. And you're like, I, I don't know what happened. We were happy and now all of a sudden my person is being weird. What else? Tell me more about Virgo, please. The Two of Swords. So you're feeling like you're at a crossroads. You're very confused and uncertain about what's going on and you don't even know how to move forward. 
Because again, I don't think this is you. I think this is something your person is going through and you're not super clear about what's even happening. And you're like, I don't know how to address this. I don't know how to fix this or what the next best step is. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. And then the hermit. This is your energy, by the way. Okay. I think you're doing a lot of soul searching and deep thinking. You're reflecting here and you're trying to figure out what do I do with this? How do I move forward? Uh, what are you feeling? What is Virgo feeling? Ten of Pentacles. So here's the thing, you guys. Your person had the Ten of Cups in their feelings and you have the Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, like I think the two of you do really love each other and do want to be together. It's just this other external stuff that's like coming in and messing with the connection here. This is Frankie. It's my cat. Uh, tell me more about what Virgo is feeling. The world. You're very happy with this person, but yet you're like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but I do think you feel very satisfied with the relationship. And that's why you're like, I don't understand why things have suddenly shifted here. Tell me more, please. And then the hanged man. Yeah. So it's tough. You're like pulling back and you're trying to look at this situation from different perspectives because you're like, I thought we were building a life together and now I'm getting all these kind of mixed messages from my person. And, I, and you're trying to like look at this from different angles to understand what has happened. So what actions are Virgo taking? Knight of Wands. Okay, that's nice, you guys. Trying to charge forward. Tell me more. What other actions are Virgo taking this month? Seven of Pentacles. This is nice. Okay. I think there's a big part of you this month that might be like, okay, I don't totally understand what's happening, but I love this person, so I'm not just going to break up with them. I'm going to be patient because the Seven of Pentacles is a card of patience. And so I feel like in your actions, you're being a little bit patient to kind of see how this plays out because you can sense that your person is going through some stuff and we talked about what that could be. But I also feel like you're looking at it and you're like, but I also feel we've got a strong connection. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of space and we're gonna see how this plays out. So I do see you're gonna to try to be really patient with this process. Tell me more about what actions Virgo is taking, please. Nice, okay. <laughs> so you're gonna be patient and you're gonna give them a little bit of space, but then at some point this month, you're gonna be like, okay, I gave you a little bit of space. I gave you some time to think about things, but now we gotta talk, <laughs> okay? The Ace of Swords is about communication. It's about clarity. It's about having a breakthrough moment. This is good because I think you're gonna kind of sit back for a little bit and try to assess what's going on. And then you're gonna realize, I just need to directly have a conversation with my person to understand what's happening. And I feel like the Ace of Swords is you cutting through the BS where you're like, okay, I wanna know what's going on. You've been acting weird. I don't know why. I can't tell what's happening. And I need you to like explain to me what is going on here because I love you and I think you love me, but I also feel like there's something happening and you're going to have to like tell me what that is. So I feel like you're at some point going to like directly, not aggressively, but like directly come in and be like, look, can you talk to me? Tell me what's up because I'm confused over here and I want to know what's happening. So please let's have a conversation. Let's talk about it. Okay. So Moment of truth here. What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome in this situation? That's nice. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. This is about a shift and change in circumstance. So this tells me you're not going to be stuck in this situation forever. Things are going to shift and change as the month progresses. Uh, tell me more, please, about the potential outcome. Ooh, la la. Three of Swords. Okay. Let's get one more. Let's get one more card here, you guys. And then the chariot. Interesting. I, okay, it's gonna be a wild ride this month, Virgo. What do I see in the outcome here? Okay, Wheel of Fortune, like I said, that's good. The situation's gonna be shifting and changing. But what follows that is the Three of Swords. This is a card of heartbreak and breakup, okay? I wonder if there is gonna be a moment where your person maybe suggests that you guys break up. Like I said, for those of you where this person lets other people get in their head, maybe it does cause them to push you away and to suggest a breakup or to break up or to at least separate and have some space. So I do feel like there could be a disconnect that happens between the two of you this month due to the circumstances that we talked about. But then I'm looking at the chariot, which is about willpower and determination. 
And I just feel like you're going to find a way back to each other. And so this might be one of those things where your person lets everybody else influence them. They get all confused about their feelings. They don't know what they're feeling, right? They're letting other people influence them. They might make a decision based on that. And then I feel like they end up regretting that decision. And I just, I don't know. I just feel like the chariot here is like, it, it's willpower and determination. And so what that's feeling like is even if the two of you separate, I feel like you find your way back to each other. And what it intuitively feels like to me, honestly, Virgo, is that they might have a moment where everyone gets in their head and messes with what they're thinking. And they're like, okay, Virgo, we got to take a break because I got to figure out what I want. And then the minute they do that, they're like, oh shit, like, why did I do that? And that might be the moment where they get clarity because I just feel like they're very confused and very suggestible this month for whatever reason. And so this month, the real like uh, work that needs to be done is for your person to start to feel more confident and secure in their feelings for you and to not let other people meddle. Because if they let other people meddle, there could be a separation or breakup here. But then I also feel like as soon as that happens, they might realize they made a bad mistake and come back to you and be like, I'm so sorry, I let everybody else get up in my head. And then the two of you, I think, are going to have to work through that because obviously if they break up with you, that's really tough. So if you guys break up, even if it's briefly, and then they come back, you're going to be like, okay, we got to talk about what happened because this is not going to be a pattern that we play out. And it's going to involve some work and some determination here to kind of work through this issue, right? Because it's not just going to be that you let this slide. I think if it gets to the point where they're like pushing you away and breaking up with you, but then they want you back here, you're going to have to really hear from them honesty about what happened, why it happened and how they're going to work on it. But I do feel like the chariot is just like, they're going to be determined to prove themselves to you. I just keep getting that. It's like, they're going to break up or like I said, take a bit of a break from the relationship, but then they're going to realize very quickly that that's not really what they wanted to do. And then they're going to come back determined to fix things with you and to work it out. And then that's where the real work is going to happen because you guys are going to have to address all of these shenanigans that happen so that it doesn't happen again in the future, right? All right, this is going to be a big month, you guys. I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Give me a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Give me a pause up for little Frankie here. If you would like to get a personal tarot reading, like I said, you can do that through Etsy. The link is in the description box below this video. And of course, I wish you so much love and happiness and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye guys.